So right now, I'm able to get uh, uh, the replacement unit in, just to push it in some more, and then bolt it down. Because this is going to be his new home from today. Since we already took the old one out, and then this is coming to replace it. As you can see, I pushed it in and I start coupling everything I need to couple. Get the hole so I can put the bolts in there easy. And then every other thing I need to do, I get it down real quick. Alright, keep watching, guys. Lee DIY. Oh, yeah. Oh, the aeration or oh, the inlet chamber back. Put uh, the model in, slide it in. It's got to fit into that opening right there, right here. And then you make sure you, you, know, you do a nice job of it. Hold this to the frame. Right there. There's another one here. As you can see, I'll try to you know, start coupling everything back together. And it's always kind of getting dark, so I want to get down real quick. I can move on to the next one. Let's check in for the next one. So what we're doing. So. This right here is a 12 millimeter. It's just the same procedure we did when we took it out. Same procedure we're following right now. That is done. So move to the other side. We got another 12 millimeter right here. I just force out tightening. Try to in with my fingers. And then just uh, on the right setting. Just make sure. Farm and smart in place. That way, the rest of the shirt is not going to Try to put some lighting on there. Let's see clearly what I'm doing. Okay. Not touching it up properly. The next thing to do is to hold this model in place. Make sure it's in. Okay. Like I said, I try to put some lighting on it so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, check it out. It's in place. It's in this hole in the trading. It's a 10 millimeter. Let's have a super high real quick. Right there. So I'm going to tighten all the three and then we'll move to the next one. So I practically finished the work I need to do on this side. Next thing is to move to the other side, go inside the vehicle and continue what I'm doing. An installation of a new oil replacement hybrid power pack on the 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid. This vehicle has well over 200,000 miles on it and the initial power pack was the one that came with the vehicle. So for 200,000 miles, I know it's nothing less than 250,000 miles on the vehicle. That's a good stretch for the old power, power pack. Although I've been carrying out just replacement of uh, individual cells over the course of time, but I just felt now she kept uh, a power pack that is kind of, uh, you know, has small juice, small life left in it, so I can enjoy the vehicle. It's a really tough and durable, uh, and pleasurable to ride that vehicle. I must tell you, Camry, they got the ride most of the time. Most of the time, if you want to get a vehicle, get a Toyota. You'll be good. I'm telling you. Alright guys, keep watching. The next thing to do is to put uh, these bolts in place. We got one here, you got one there, you got one there too. So we got three, you know. Because I found feel comfortable walking around this because I got my double padded. I got double gloves on it. If you can see the second one is right underneath. 
But on the other hand, you should be able to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, still the same way as I have here. Well, I think have the other side. So the top glove is coming, coming up the boat, lower one up. I gotta receive that, sorry. And I encourage you two to do the same. Don't follow those who think they know it all, then go do something, you follow them, and then you go get shocked or something. Or lose your life. It's not worth it. This video is just strictly for educational purposes. There's a disclaimer right there that uh, if you can't do this most of the time, just go get a service personnel to do it for you. Qualified one of that. Because you're dealing with high voltage. High voltage inside. Be careful. Be very careful. Alright, guys. Keep watching. I don't know if you can see clearly. Everything is gradually making sense. So I'm just going to put this pipe in. It's tubing. It's just got to fit in the upper portion right here. Maybe we should do that first and then we'll connect it to the lower portion and just slide it in like that. Make it easy to get to. And then get one of the clippings and then just hold it in place. Ensure that uh, it stays in when the vehicle is moving, vibrating, it doesn't come off. Check it out. So you can just feel it, it stays in place. And then we got this hose on this side. Pretty. Let me put a light closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Got this hose on this side, it's gonna go somewhere right here. Just push it in the other position on the other side. A position like this, that's where the hose is gonna go into. Just slide it in like that. Yeah, it's got that position right there, so it's just gonna go. In. Just make sure it's firm and snug in place. So that position is firm in here. That's it. So the next thing we gotta do. And we got this uh, cable right here that's going straight to the model. I'll just hook it up. Uh, yeah. You anchor it on this, that's what I made it there with the purple tape just to show you. Just wrap it so it could uh, stay in place and don't dangling when you're moving. And the car is moving, I mean. Or I meant to say. And just slide this in. Just slot in. You hear the click? You'll be fine. That's it. It's done. Check it, so it's not in place. We got the bolts of this, so it's in place too. And then you got the clipping, you gotta put the clipping on there, and just hold it in place. <clears throat> so, the clippings right there, it's in place right now. So, we're practically almost done. Just do the wiring, uh, connect the alleys, hook it up the proper terminals, and everything else. And make sure it's not having loose contact. Now, we're good, we're good to go. So I'm gonna put all this back in places where we took it out from. This is the black is negative. Upside down, the other way around. So it's okay. That's right. It's right. Turn over. See, I'm doing my fingers because I put my gloves on. Very important. Safety. Very. I'm gonna take one. The video was well, very important. If I talk about it for the, for the entire length of the video, I don't care. But I know it's going to save somebody. That's what counts to me. We're only doing this for education purposes. It's not my joy that somebody go try it again and get uh, to lose your life. Or I'm just sharing knowledge here. Okay. Disclaimer. Get a so qualified service personnel to do this job for you. From your boy, Nate DIY. Power of the terminal. Put this one back up. And next thing I'm gonna pull uh, this terminal leads. See the positive. See the red marking on the on the wire. And then it got a red dot 
right there for you to see so you know what you're doing and you don't make mistake and put the wrong time on it. Very important, pay attention to details. Very important. Check it out. So just put the nuts on there. I put the suppressor bar complete. Uh, connect the negative lead. And that's it. So as you can see, I'll pull it back up. The lead. Put the terminal, uh, negative terminal connector on there. Put the nuts. And then the next thing is just to, uh, you know, cover this up. Hook it up in the right place. And then put the nuts on there and that's it. We're done. Okay. Move to the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Can I click the like button? Uh, leave a comment, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, it's your boy, Nii DIY. Thank you guys. Stay tuned, keep enjoying. Okay, guys, I hooked everything up, I hooked everything, everything up back up. I hooked everything back up together now. So, just doing a, I was just a final inspection to see what I've done is actually the right thing to do. I got all my wires, my harness in place, uh, with the right terminals. I got my workspace, workspace clean because you know I'm very keen on that. If you watch my videos, you know that's one of my slogans. I'm very keen on keeping my workspace clean. clean. I'm very keen on keeping my workspace clean. All right, guys. So the moment of truth is here. We're gonna start the vehicle up and find out if this is working. Hopefully, it's working. Click the like button. Leave a comment, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the notification icon so you can get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you guys for staying tuned, for watching these videos. We got, we're trying to build up this channel to 1 million views, 1 million subscribers. Alright guys, without much to do, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. This is your boy, Nii Diawa. Peace. Check it out guys, that's the new hybrid pack right there. You can see the only sign I got is the door open, uh, we got the brake and the tire gauge and the trunk, the notification. I'm trying to make this uh, instrument cluster, I mean the navigation to pop up so we can see how it's charging. Uh, because normally we show you the charging, check it out. You see the battery, I don't know if you can see it right there, it's kind of low. So we're gonna leave the vehicle to run for a minute or two because we're trying to build this up. Check it out right there, you see? Uh, the battery is low, but right now it's charging because it's on the engine, so the model and all that, you know, it's charging the battery. Till it gets full, then it's gonna cut off itself. All right, guys, so that's it. We've been able to do a replacement of an hybrid power pack of a 2007 Toyota Camry hybrid. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Have a nice day. Stay prayed up, stay safe out there. Call your friends, your family, your foes. Your favorite boat, me, DIY, is in town. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Stay blessed.
Peace.